Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, my name is Joe and this is my channel. Sorry I have not uploaded that much, I just ended a quarter of school, so I had a bunch of finals and all that, so I have two weeks off, I'll be doing some videos these t next two weeks, you may expect a skincare routine video coming up, still working on that. Um, I will talk about some skincare items in the video today, um, so yeah. I did buy some things, so I'm going to go through that. I'm going to do an updated oral hygiene routine and a review of all these stuff that I bought and some stuff that I'm returning, and I'll give my thoughts. So, again, if you're new here, my name is Joe. Let's get into the video. Okay, the first item I'm going to review today, actually, let's do this a different route. Let's go over the new stuff that I have purchased. So, I watched Living Ash, and she had said, I think it was her, yes, she had said to go to Marshalls, and I'm a philosophy fan, they smell real clean, real sleek, it just makes you smell fresh, so I picked up the philosophy rose, I'm still looking for the original, this whole set, which comes with, let me open it up, it comes with a, a body gel, a perfume, and a body, firming body emulsion. I have not opened it yet, so let's give it a little bit of a sniff. This whole set itself that comes with the perfume and these was only $35 at Marshall's, which is a really good deal because each one separately can be pretty pricey. So the first thing we're going to look at is the body emulsion. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, it's got a little cap on it. Mm, that smells really good. So this is the Firming Body Emulsion by Philosophy. It is 8 fluid ounces, which is a little small, but we'll work with it. My favorite part of the whole set, this perfume alone is about fifty dollars and I got it in a set for thirty five let's give it a let's give it a smell mm, that smells really good I like this one so again this is the rose one they did not have the pure philosophy like I wanted but I did find the rose and then this is the shampoo bath and shower gel I may or may not use this because I I just got it mainly for the perfume and the body cream stuff. Smells just like the rest of it. Pretty good. So that's that. Alright. Let's, let's put all this back in here. So again, this whole set itself was only $35 and I got it at Marshall's. So again, this is the set. It was only $35 at Marshall's. Don't sleep on Marshall's. They have good stuff. Another thing that came in today that I'm super pumped about is the Laura Roche Pose Adapalene. I have the different one that I'm going to try a little bit. And then I may try this one. I'm not 100% sure. But the different gel kind of comes similar to this. Um, it's that. That's the Adapalene by the La Roche. Um, I'll review. I'll. I should have brought the um, different, but I have different gel as well. And then the only other two things that I have in this bag are some chapsticks. I got some ballistics chapsticks. Other than that, that's all for that bag. It's. It was a small pickup. It wasn't too much. Another thing I got to try. I got this razor. It's the Deluxe Smooth by Venus. I love Venus razors. They work for the face really well for guys. If you're a guy and you struggle with that razor cut, razor burn bumps, definitely try a Venus razor. They're gentle. You don't even feel them cutting as the best razor. And you can use it around your body too as well if you shave other areas. But guys, try this. 
Another thing I picked up, which this, I'll go in more detail on my skincare routine, but the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, I'm almost out. I get the ultra lightweight, my skin is oil to acne prone, super oily, and I use this in the PM. This stuff is good, it's oil free, um, and they recommend those, I'll go in more detail with that in my skincare routine. A shaving gel that I stocked myself up on a little bag, I bought another one of these, the Flamingo. Do not sleep on this. This smells so good, and I'm, I'm against fragrance on certain things. I like the Aveeno Shave Gel 2 for the face, but this Flamingo is very good. I'm trying to let make it focus. Um, you get this at Target. I haven't tried the razor. I don't really want to, but this Shave Gel is the bomb. Com. Another thing I picked up was another balm, body balm. I did have a video that explained some other perfumes and stuff I picked up, but I left out so much in that video that I just decided I was going to do a new video. And that's it from the pickup. That's all I picked up. Now let's head into the second part of the video where I give a little oral hygiene update, and then we're going to end the video with some reviews. Obviously, you know, my toothpaste, the Press Premium Plus Scope, I get the light green one with no Outlast. The Outlast is real sensitive on my teeth. This is the Whitening Scope. Um, this is a really good toothpaste. Another um, key, I use Oral-B toothbrush. I like putting a cap on it. It keeps it from all the dust and debris in the um, bathroom. And then I have a tongue scraper. This has helped a lot, this tongue scraper get it back in there, really scrub really good, but here's what, how I do it. I'll brush really good, get it all clean with my with these. I'll spit the toothpaste out. Do not rinse your mouth. Scrape your tongue with the remainder toothpaste that's in your mouth really, really good. Rinse the tongue scraper, rinse your mouth out with water. Then I go in in the morning and night with my Crest Advanced Multi Protection Alcohol Free Mouthwash and my previous oral hygiene I used the Listerine and ended up irritating my face over time my face it irritated my tooth really bad so I stopped and used the alcohol free plus fluoride for the cavities um, that's that and then at night after brushing tongue scraping mouthwash I'll go in with a placker Flossing is very important. I am amazed by all the food that gets stuck in your teeth from the day. When you floss at night, and I know some don't like, you know, getting that string up in there, but this stuff, these work very well. So that's my oral hygiene. It's quite simple. Um, I care for it as m a lot because it's very important to have healthy gums, healthy teeth, and a healthy smile. Okay, next part of the video, another thing that I picked up that I really like is the Tresemme leave-in conditioner. This is the next part of the video where I'm going to do some reviews on some of these items, some things I like, some things I don't. We're just going to get it all out there. This is the leave-in conditioner that's new by Tresemme. This stuff smells so good and it works. It doesn't leave your hair oily, nothing. And it really helps it smell good because I take two showers a day. So at night I go in with more of my lighter lotions in the daytime I go in my Bath and Body Works lotion so I like wetting my hair and putting in a leave-in conditioner it really helps just to keep it smelling good throughout the day this stuff is the bomb I have tried the Aussie that's good as well that's another good one I'll have that in another video when I do my body care routine video but I bought that to try and so far I like it but I also like the Aussie Aussie is a good brand as well now we're gonna shift now we're going to talk about mainly, yeah, skincare. A thing that I got in the mail that I have been trying is the Paula's Choice. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Clear. Paula's Choice Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. This is a Levon Benzoyl Peroxide Treatment. It's got 5% benzoyl peroxide and it's the extra strength. The regular one is 2.5 which I have a 2.5. It's the Neutrogena. Both of these are really good. There's This one just helps better. 
this one also works just as good so those are my top two leave in leave on the skin what you gotta do is you gotta cleanse and then you gotta put this on in your moisturizer these are super drying and they can sting but it's very important that you stick to it and dry it's very important that you stick to it and these are some good leave-in treatments another thing this is a hack that I have when I break out instead of switching everything I will go in with the penoxyl on the breakout areas because my face gets super irritated when I use 10% on it like I get these red spots and it just burns so I go in with this on my blemish or my break broke out area and it really helps get them down um, this is really cheap you get 5.5 ounces for like nine dollars this is a really really good one um, I'll go in more detail with it in my empties video because I've already went through a whole bottle of this but get this this will cure your breakouts and you can use it all over your face if you're not sensitive like me but I'm sensitive so I just go in with this as a spot treatment um, a cleanser that I will not be repurchasing and will likely returning is the La Roche Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I love this cleanser. It smells good, lathers well, cleans the skin well. However, it broke me out. This cleanser broke me out. So maybe I can use this after acne. I'm not sure, but um, this I will not be repurchasing and this I will be um, returning, hopefully. But no, this is not really the best for acne prone skin for me. Now, it might work for you, but for me it doesn't. Um, a moisturizer that I will not be repurchasing, that I will more than likely be returning as well, is the Vanna Cream. This is great for like your body. Because when you put it on your face, it leaves a white cast. It just, it would be wonderful for your body but not for the face because of how creamy it is and that's just for me again my skin type is oily acne prone this did not do me justice with that it is a basic moisturizer it smells like cinnamon it's really good but no it just did not work for me um, now let's let's shift the video into some things that I'm trying and some things that did work and then we'll end the video with some other things that didn't work and so this is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. This stuff does not break me out. This stuff actually helps. Um, so I'll be keeping this cleanser on hand because right now I'm trying their new cream to foam cleanser. I know it says it's to remove makeup. I think it works great to remove sunscreen. I think it just cleanses the face very nice. This is for normal to dry skin, so I'll update you guys in my skincare routine video. But this is some good stuff if you have acne. It's got three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Vitamin B3 can help as well. So this one is a good one, and I'm still trying this one to see if it's good or not. Um, those are two cleansers that I like. Um, and then another thing I, I talked about the... Let me find it... I talked about the PM that I just restocked on. I am trying the AM. This stuff is the best. I, I have the one for oily skin, but this is for normal to dry skin, yes, but it's not oily and it really helps just moisturize the skin and leaves it smooth. This is a really good one. You should definitely try that. Okay, some things that didn't work. So in a video that I did not post, I picked up the new Neutrogena Ultra Gentle for Acne Prone Skin Fragrance Free Cleanser. This was like putting on lotion. I mean, it didn't suds up. It was like putting on pure lotion. I didn't care for it. Um, well, probably not repurchase this and probably returning this as well. But this is the new one. It's just a little more lotion-y for me, and I just didn't really like it. Another thing by Neutrogena that I did not like was the Rapid Clear. This stuff burned just like it irritated my face. I have so sensitive skin on the face, and this used to not be the case. Used to, I would use the Clean and Clear before I got into skincare and really caring about skincare. 
I would use the Clean and Clear and that helped for a while. Well then my skin became very sensitive to it and I got real dry patches. So anything that has does 10% or just does not work for me. Um, another cleanser I also like that I don't have is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Facial Cleanser that has 4% benzoyl peroxide. That's a good one as well. Right now I'm trying leave on stuff so I'm just trying different things. Um, and the final product that I have to review for you guys is this. Okay, I read somewhere that you can use this as a double cleanse. Because it purifies, pores, cleanses, and I even bought the vitamin C one. When I started with this one, horrible. Downright horrible. Oiliness all over the face, breakouts. This stuff did not do me any good to try. So if you hear that this is a good for a double cleanse or a toner, do not buy it. It is not. It is not for oily, acne prone skin. So I will not be purchasing that. Okay. So that's the video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video, comment videos you guys want to see. I'm so loyal to my subscribers. I know I only have three at the time, but I'm working on it and I'm going to keep putting videos out because the other day, yesterday, I woke up with a spirit of defeat. Like I woke up thinking I don't want to do skincare no more, I don't want a video no more, I don't want to do any of that. Well, then I heard this song, it's called Resur... I think it's called... Um, I heard this song on the radio during my morning shower that really brought me out of my little defeat moment. It's called Resurrecting by Evelation Worship. This song is the best because it said... And I quote, let me get the quote up for you guys because this is a really good quote from them from the song itself that I had to share on my Facebook. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. And it was like God was talking to me and saying, Joe, you're you're in the you're in a defeat mode. You're in that, oh I don't want to do this no more, I'm getting defeated. Well, I spent the, it made my whole day here in that sh song while I was showering, and it brought me back, and it was like, okay, I cannot wait to do my next video, and that's when I was like, okay, that spirit of defeat was the devil, do not let him override, um, do not. Rise above, and know that God has a great plan for you, and do not get that spirit of defeat, because I did, I had a spirit of defeat. And I rose above it, and now I'm good. So, all right, little ramble on about that. Um, thank you guys for watching today. Again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're new and you want to see more videos from me, just subscribe. Um, yeah, so thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.